Coach Simon ready off a good 3-1 victory over Delaware and a good CAA contest tonight. Tell us about the game tonight. It was the uh, pro typical game of two halves. Uh, cliche. Delaware, to be fair to him, uh, gave us the first 45 minutes I've never seen a team go to us. They dominated every aspect of the game. And they were unfortunate not to go more goals forward. Um, but at half time, we said, you know, it's 1 0. Uh, all it takes is one goal and we're back in this game. We don't deserve to be in this game, but we, we've got a chance to be in this game. And, uh, fortunately, we came out with a little bit more zest in our game in the second half and uh, we found a way to come back. How much did that lightning delay help you? I don't know if it was a lightning delay or not, but uh, I think we needed to regroup. Uh, I think the half time couldn't have come any quicker to us. And, uh, you know. Thankfully, our girls decided, you know what, well, that wasn't good enough for the first half. We're going to show Delaware that we can play. Because I'm sure Delaware went in at half time thinking, off who. So um, it was good that we actually came out and, and worked hard. You said that was something you hadn't seen any team do to your team what Delaware did in the first 45. Did you see anything in particular that they were doing maybe in their attack that was different? To be fair, they did everything right. The, the center, the, the back four was dealing with our speed and our our forwards. The midfielders were composed and moving the ball quicker. The forwards were combining and working hard. Uh, they were winning every first ball. They were winning every second ball. They were winning the headers. Uh, they were very, very good that first half. And you know, I, I I couldn't find an answer. We tried to adjust and there was no real answer for it. Uh, they, they just came out on fire and. Um, that's the best I've seen a team play against us in a long time. In game one without Amber and struggling in the first half, how much confidence does this have for the offense after a three-goal second? I think it's good for us to uh, to realize that you know I think we played a bit of self-doubt at halftime. Are we really good? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see what we can do the second half. And, and to be fair, from Emily all the way through the team, we stepped up. And, uh, we battled, and uh, you know every CAA game is going to be a battle. And if you're not willing to battle, you're going to get hurt. And we got hurt the first half. Second half, we battled, and we, we found a way to claw ourselves back in the game on a, a tremendous strike, unbelievable. And then uh, you know we, we we moved forward from there, and uh, I think we, we did a good job of maintaining the lead in the end. Lulu replaces Amber in the starting lineup. We also saw a player like Gene Maria see a little bit more playing time at today's game. Are those two players that you're looking for now that there's an opening in the lineup to see to get more action? Yeah, uh, Janine, uh, we, we brought home with 10 minutes left in the first half and she, she changed the game for us a little bit. She, uh, she adds a little bit of composure, she's technically talented and she, she kind of slowed us down, which is I thought we needed at that stage. We couldn't take it out the second half. Uh, Lulu gives us passion, she gives us desire. And uh, that second goal Lulu scored was a tremendous goal. And, you know, two out, two out of the three goals tonight, Lulu's third, he was a third goal. Right? Two of the th three goals tonight were top draw. And you're not going to see many of those in the women's game. And we scored, and Lulu did a great job to, to put that away. You have to be pleased with Leah Galton's play tonight, especially in the second half. Uh, that's an understatement. She. In my book, she's pr she she is the best freshman in the conference, and in reality, she's probably the best player. Um, she's she is a beast, and uh, you know, Delaware tried to mark her, they tried different things to try doubling up, and the goal she scored to to give us the tying tying goal was a, a tremendous effort. You know, you don't see that from girls soccer. That's a, a man strike, and uh, it fizzed and it moved past the keeper. You know. She was tremendous tonight, and hopefully she, that, that helps her with a bit of confidence. It was the first half she was average. Hopefully that bit of confidence will help her move forward.